Good evening, everyone. I'm Kyle Robinson, and welcome to this season kickoff edition of Kings Insider. We've already had a couple games into this regular season already with the showcase that took place in Ottawa, but now things are starting to come home for the Pembroke Lumber Kings, and after a bit of a shaky start, things are starting to look up. We caught up with head coach Dale McTavish to get his thought on the upcoming season. I think, you know, obviously we're looking forward to it. Uh, you know, we've had a little bit of a slow start, but we're starting to build and starting to uh, do things that uh, we're trying to implement, and they're, uh, they're starting to take to it. So it's, uh, it's coming along, but it's, uh, it's a work in progress. A lot of new players on the roster this year. How do you think they're going to fare in the CCHL? Well, I think they'll be good. You know, sometimes it's an adjustment coming into a new league, a new team, and living away from home for the first time. So you just have to be patient and uh, give them a chance to get acclimated to the surroundings and to these different way we want them to play and, uh, and just the, the town of Pembroke. So it, it takes a bit of time, but, uh, you know, we'll give them, give them some games to, to get used to, uh, used to it and get their, uh, their feet going. I know you haven't assigned a captain yet this year, but uh, do you have anybody in mind as we head into the home opener this weekend? Uh, we're going to go with the four, the four captains we have right now. Um, I think we have a, a good group uh, with those guys, and I think, um, you know, if someone steps up from that group, then we'll, we'll make that change at that time. Now, uh, heading into training camp, there was a lot of question marks about a lot of the players, whether they're going to stay or going to go. Was there any one player in particular that kind of really caught your eye? Um, well, I mean, Hudson Michaelis was, was, you know, obviously uh, counted him coming back. Found out kind of late that he, that he wasn't coming back, so obviously that was a bit of a, a shock. Um, tough to replace uh, this late in the year, so, um, you know, we'll, we'll keep our eyes open. But at the same time, it's a great opportunity for the guys that are here, and, um, you know, they have an excellent opportunity to play up in the lineup and power play penalty killing so it's really wide open now and it's, it's a real good evaluator for myself to, to see where they're at. What are you looking for in the first particular month of the season? Uh, I just want to see guys how they're competing you know if they're going hard working on the and trying to implement the things that we're telling them to do finish checks be hard on the puck get pucks deep um, if they're doing those things and really trying to, to learn and improve um, and how coachable they are and what kind of compete level they have is, is the biggest thing. Goaltending's also been a strong forefront for you this year do you expect that to continue going on? Yeah, we have a ton of confidence, you know, Sean and, uh, and Gabe both. So, uh, you know, I think Sean's got his, got his feet wet last year playing 20 games. Um, I think he's really, you know, he works, at, works on his game hard. So he's ready to go. Um, got a ton of, ton of confidence in him. And Gabe, uh, you know, played a little bit last year, uh, played Junior B. So he's, uh, he's shown that he can do it. And um, I think it's a real strong tandem. Coming up on CCHL tonight, we have more action between the Pembroke Lumber Kings and the Smith Falls Bears as the Lumber Kings rack up their home opener at the PMC. I'm Kyle Robinson with TV Coach Go.